We're in Tofino in British Columbia on the trail of a very cool and slimy creature that looks a little like this. And in our hunt for the banana slug, banana slugs really like to munch and eat delicate greens. They love our garden. These raised beds, this is our medicinal plant garden right here. And there's so, some tender leaves that they like to eat. Another really good place to search is up here in our kitchen garden where we have all of our herbs and lettuces. So now we know that, let's go find some really big banana slug. Hi, my name's Melissa. I work with the Canadian Wildlife Federation. I'm a biologist there. And today I'm in Tofino in the rainforest. And I have with me some really cool little critters. They are slugs. And if you've ever wondered uh, why are they so slimy, and you might, if I bring my hand closer, you might actually be able to see the slime trail. Well, they're slimy because it can help to keep their body wet, which is really important because although they are in the same kind of group as snails, they don't have a shell, right? So they really need to make sure that their body is nice and moist so that they can kind of surf along the rainforest floor. So if you're taking a look at this kind of little, little hole right here on the slug, it's a pore where he can breathe from. So while we have lungs and we breathe in from our nose and breathe out of our mouth, this little guy uses that pore for breathing. Take a close up look at this little slug. You can see that he has these two kind of long stalks and they're actually his eyes at the tip of the stalks. So he has two eyes he can see from and beneath that are a couple of other little tiny knobs and they look like his eyes but they are actually uh, kind of like a nose for a slug. So if you're wondering why these guys are called banana slugs, it's because of their colors. As you can see, we have three different slugs. They're all banana slugs, but uh, they range in color from kind of a pale yellow to a, you know darker yellow. Some can be speckled even, and then some of them are really dark black. So any color that a banana can be, a banana slug can be as well. And this really helps them out when they are foraging on the forest floor because they are decomposers. So they want to blend in to all the dead matter that they are eating. So they'll eat things like mosses and um, fallen leaves. And this kind of helps to decompose uh, that plant material and put it back into the rainforest floor. So normally these slugs wouldn't be so close together on the forest floor. They're actually quite territorial, um, which means that they like a private home. So they'll find one section of the forest and they won't get this close normally. Um, what they'll actually do is uh, they'll kind of fight. And the way that they fight is by biting each other. But as you can see, I'm holding up this slug and he's not really biting me. He might try to taste me a little bit um, as if I were a plant, but it doesn't hurt at all. So you don't have to worry about picking these guys up. You just want to be extra gentle and make sure to put them back where you found them. So remember, we found out that banana slugs are really cool, but if you're going to take time to really appreciate them, make sure that you put them back in their own territory.